Hi, my name is Dr. Erin Daniel with Rejuvenate Life Chiropractic. Uh, today I would like to talk about all of the different ways, um, or at least a lot of them that I can think of, different ways that we can increase our physical activity. Uh, one of the things that physical activity will do for us as people is just get us out of this chronic sitting, texting, forward head yucky posture and get us up and moving. So we burn more calories, we have more oxygen to the brain, we have better endorphins or feel-good hormones that are released throughout our body, uh, which makes us overall happier people in general. And it's good to be outside and doing things social and interacting with other people uh, or even by ourselves. So, so many different benefits to increasing physical activity in general. Um, it's great. Uh, certain activities like rebounding trampolines, great for increasing our cerebral spinal fluid flow, um, which just helps our nervous system work well. So there's so many different benefits um, of different type of exercise. Many people think that exercise has to be this chore, this, oh, dreaded, like, I've got to go work out now, or just this awful punishment that we do. It doesn't have to be that way. Uh, the best exercise is when it's fun and we love doing it and we want to do it. And then the more we do it, the more we want to move our body. And then we try new things. And then we might not like this, but we love this. We, eh, this is okay. I'll do it. It's good for me. Many people try to force themselves to be runners. I'm not a runner, okay? I don't um, enjoy it. I do like sprinting, uh, but I am not a distance runner. I wouldn't mind doing like a 5K or even maybe a 10K, but past that, I have no desire. Um, it's not always healthy for people to be running long distances over long periods of time for the joints in the body. So we have plenty of options. If you love running, you know, great. I'm glad you found something. It can be very meditative for people. Um, but in general, I'm going to list a lot of the different ways that we are able to do physical activity. And this can look different for everybody. And the best thing is to just try something, see how, how you like it. Please bear in mind, things take practice. So it's not necessarily going to be that you are going to just love something instantaneously or be good at it instantaneously. Give it a few, but if you absolutely hate it, move on, try something else. Um, while I'm thinking of it, I'm just going to add another one here. As long as I have it on my mind. All right, so what are different ways, things that we can do? Different seasons matter too, but we can bike. We can go hiking. Hiking is one of the best activities because we are going to be using our cardiovascular health as well as you know climbing up different terrain. That's great for balance and something called proprioception, um, just basically where our brain associates our limbs in space. Uh, we will see many, many benefits of hiking. Running, walking, walking is fantastic. We can decrease our chances of osteoporosis just by walking somewhere between like five and eight miles a week. Uh, swimming is another fantastic one, especially um, doing any water activities for people whose joints hurt. This is a great place to start. Running, snowshoeing, boxing, great cardiovascular um, activity. You know, speed bags are fantastic. I love those. Rock climbing for those who are very adventurous. Bowling, dancing. There's many types of dancing. And kind of added one up here, belly dancing is another great physical activity, but we can do pole dancing and jazz and tap and ballet and hip hop. There's so many different types of dancing available. Uh, there is another kind of style is Zumba. Um, that is fantastic. That is a cardio dance and you don't have to know how to dance in order to do it. We will talk in summer or if you're warm all year long, you can kayak or paddleboard or canoe, do lacrosse as far as sports, ice skating, 
rollerblading or roller skating, another fantastic activity. We don't see as much rollerblading around anymore as we used to in the 90s and early 2000s. It's still a great workout. Um, those of you who are worried about falls, wrist, um, wrist guards, knee pads are a good way to help with that. Horseback riding, skateboarding, gymnastics, snowboarding, skiing, either water, downhill skiing, or cross-country skiing. Synchronized swimming, water aerobics, or other water activities. Again, anybody who's got joint issues, this is a great one. Um, they even have underwater weights, or you have little, um, for swimming training, there's uh, like a webbed hand that you can get, and that works great for you doing resistance training inside the water. I love it. Step aerobics, rugby, golf, frisbee golf. Talked about belly dancing, jumping rope, fantastic. I love jumping rope. It's a great activity. Um, it works on the speed and the agility at the same time. Soccer, football, basketball, baseball, um, softball, pickleball, badminton. Okay, tennis, Zumba, <laughs> like my personal favorite or one of them. They also have Strong by Zumba. They have a... Um, Active rolled or adult type Zumba, different different styles. Hit training or high intensity interval training works great in shorter periods of time. Yoga, Pilates, uh, they also have bar, which is uh, like you use a bar from ballet, uh, another great one. Trampoline, this rebounding is great or bouncing on a you know exercise ball is great for cerebral spinal fluid. Yard work. Gardening, raking, um, shoveling, lawn mowing, all of these things. Weeding, anything with an ing, right? Um, other ones, hopscotch, volleyball, field events like throwing. I was a thrower. I love shot put and discus, so that was a big one for me. Uh, wrestling, martial arts. Chopping wood, push-ups, pull-ups, any other body weight exercises that you can think about. If you like them, great, fantastic, do it. Gaga, um, dodgeball, sharks and minnows, little kids will know what I'm talking about. Tag, Red Rover, 500, hockey, going on the jungle gym, kickball, adult, you know, adult playgrounds. Uh, all of these activities are possible. So we don't have to pick one. We can like multiple. We don't have to... Uh, limit ourselves to just something like running. It doesn't have to be. Uh, resistance training of any kind. It can be with weights. It can be body weight. It can be resistance bands. It can be bar. It can be Pilates. It can be a reformer. It can be a total gym. It can be, uh, you know, uh, any other of those Bowflex things that you can think of. Hoist V6, whatever it is. There's lots of different options as far as um, resistance training goes. There is one more that I would like to add. And this one a lot of adults will like. Um, please keep in mind your religious or spiritual beliefs along with it. But another good physical activity is sex. And so that is something to consider as well. Um, again, feel good hormones are released. There's other benefits, uh, benefits to connecting with, you know, spouse, partner. Uh, so keep that in mind as that is another type of physical activity, uh, stretching, is another good one. So if people find what they love, then they can do a lot. Most cultures across the board are gonna do some kind of dancing. Uh, and so dance is a huge one through different types of, um, you know, multiple cultures. There's multiple types of cultural dancing, which are all fabulous. You know, Irish dancing and Russian dancing and um, you get Bollywood and all of the, the Latin styles, right? There's lots of fun things out there to do from a dancing standpoint. Find what you like, do more of it, move your body every day, and it doesn't have to be this gosh awful chore where people are freaking out about having to get it in. One of my favorite things to do is work out in the morning, and then after I am done with work, I like to do something light, uh, or do Zumba. <laughs> those of you who know me, I love my Zumba. Um, so I might do those things, but even just a walk with my kids or walking the dog, 
is fantastic. A morning walk and an evening walk with a dog, great. Um, just to keep the body moving. So it doesn't have to be this awful, hurting, sore pain. It can be fun and the more fun we make it, uh, the more we're gonna wanna do it and we can do it in seasons and try things at different times. And maybe you have your fall routine and your winter routine and your spring and your summer and we, you know, mix it up completely. Uh, the important thing is that we move and we have some sort of resistance. Um, gravity uh, is key as well. Do some balance and agility training. Variety is the spice of life. So to not get stagnant and stale, it's good to mix things up. But again, please keep in mind that we're not going to be good at everything that we try when we do it the first time and be patient with yourself. And just because you get frustrated doesn't mean that that activity is not for you. Uh, however, if you hate it, don't do it. <laughs> um, find one of the activities that you do do. And if you don't like any of these activities, Find a new one that I didn't list, or the ones that you hate the least are the ones to start with. So most people um, don't mind starting with walking, so that's one of the first places that I like to re recommend for people, um, as well as dancing, because most people, um, at least in the privacy of their own home, um, may actually like to dance. So again, I'm Dr. Erin Daniel with Rejuvenate Life Chiropractic, and today I was talking about ways to increase your physical activity um, so that we can just get more movement into our day. Have a fabulous day. If you liked this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to the YouTube channel um, as I can make more videos, comment, uh, as well as suggestions for videos in the future are always welcome and appreciated. Have a fantastic day.